Here's how to automatically forward emails in Gmail. So we're going to forward certain emails, not necessarily your whole Gmail account. I do have another video on that link in the description. But if we're forwarding certain emails, whether they match a search criteria or they're from certain addresses, we can do that real easily and automatically here in Gmail. The first thing we need to do is set up what exactly we're forwarding. So we're going to click on this advanced search option. And then from here, we can create a filter on any one of these different criteria. So maybe I, I want to say it's from a certain email address. And if it comes in from that email address, then I want to forward it to a different account. Say maybe it comes into or comes in from this email address, if we can get that to pop up again. Okay, so anything from this email address, I'm going to create a filter to automatically forward it. You could also say, oh, anything that has the subject flag football or contains the words social media, and you could forward those along as well. But in this case, I'm going to say anything from this email. I'm going to create a filter here, not search, but create filter. Now, basically, we're going to say, okay, anything that matches that criteria, what are we going to do with it? Well, we want to forward it. Now, this is probably grayed out for you like it is for me because we have to add a forwarding address. So the address that it's being forwarded to has to confirm permission to receive this forwarded email. So we're gonna click add forwarding address. It's gonna take us to our settings and inside of our settings, we see here forwarding and we can add a forwarding address right here. And when we click on that, we're going to add in a new forwarding address. I'm going to add one that I own. If you're searching it or if you're um, forwarding it to an address that you don't own, you'll want to contact the person and let them know to accept the permissions around forwarding this email to them. And so I'm going to enter this in and hit OK. It's going to basically confirm that I want to forward mail to this address. I'm going to say, yep, proceed. And then the confirmation link gets sent to that address. And so for that person, what they'll see, if I click over to that email, is an email like this that is a Gmail forwarding confirmation. We click on that, and we're basically, by accepting this, clicking this link, kind of looks spammy here, so you really want to tell them that this is coming if they uh, aren't expecting it or you know if you're working with them and it's not your email. But they'll click this link here to basically allow your email address to forward to them or you're allowing it to be forwarded to whatever other address you own. And then we go back to that original email and we can refresh this page and we'll see that it's added this forwarding address in here. Now, I'm not sure why, but it definitely uh, removed the filter that we were in the process of creating. Let's go check if it was created. It wasn't, so we'll have to create that filter again, weirdly enough. So if you want to, you can go into your settings and add that forwarding address first, and you won't have to recreate the filter. I'm going to create this filter, and then I'm going to select now to forward anything from that criteria, so from that email address, and we can choose the address that we added in because they have now confirmed that they will accept the forwarded email. So we choose that. It will not forward any old email, even if you uh, apply this filter to any matching conversations. So you'll have to do that on your own, but it will automatically forward anything that matches the criteria from here on. And so we can create that filter. And so now you can see here, anything that matches from this email address is going to forward to this other email address. And we can look in our forwarding settings again and we can see that uh, we have that email address in here. If you ever want to remove it, you can just click on that drop down and click remove. You do not want to click this button here because that is forwarding all of your email. Instead, you just want to forward based on that filter, only some of your email. And that's how you can create a filter to forward specific email to another email address in Gmail.